Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to talk about in-camera focus stacking for your Olympus cameras. Let's do this. I have received many requests for a focus stacking video, so here it is. I will start by explaining why do we need focus stacking? What is focus stacking and how does it work in your Olympus OMD cameras? Also, I will explain how to activate and use the in-camera focus stacking and finally some limitations and tips that you have to be aware of when you are using this particular feature. Focus stacking is not a new technique. It is popularly used for macro photography. Typically, you will have to take multiple images at different focusing positions. This is called focus bracketing. And these images are then merged into a single composite image in post-processing. Olympus takes this one step further. With just one click of a shutter button, the entire process is done in camera. Why do we need to use focus stacking? Typically, when we do extreme close-up shooting or macro photography, we are dealing with extremely thin depth of field. That means only one small part of the image is sharp in focus and everything else is blur. Sometimes, to tell a better story, you want to see more parts of the image in focus, you want to see more of the subject. Therefore, to maximize that for feel or to see more in focus, we typically will have to stop down the aperture from f4 to 5.6 or f8 and beyond. However, this introduces another problem, diffraction. The more you narrow down the aperture, say f11 or beyond, the softer the image will be due to diffraction. Focus stacking is the solution for these two issues. You can maximize the depth of field using focus stacking and at the same time prevent the problem from diffraction. What is focus stacking? It is a composite of multiple images taken at different focusing positions. The camera will take many images each image focused at different parts of the frame, from front to the center to the back. And when all these images are then merged together, stacked into a composite, you will have the entire subject in focus, maximizing depth of field. The entire process is done with just one click of a shutter button. It is so easy and so quick after you have set up the camera properly, of course. The focus bracketing feature is hidden deep in the camera menu. I don't blame you if you cannot find it. Go to menu. Under shooting menu number two, the second tab here, you see bracketing, go in, go in furthermore, then you'll see a list of options for bracketing. Go to the last one, obviously we want to do focus, focus bracketing. This is where, going some more, this is where the focus stacking is hidden. Obviously we want to do focus stacking, so we have to turn this on. You will have a few other options to play with, set number of shots. You have a, a choice of from three frames all the way to 15. I highly recommend just use 15. That's the best that the camera can do for you. Then there is a focus differential setting. If you want just one small part of your image to be in focus, then obviously you select narrow. But if you want the entire part of the image to be in focus, then you select wide. For this particular situation, I'll go probably six or seven. I'll say seven. You need to do a little bit of try and error to see whether this works for you. And the final setting is charge time. This is only valid if you use flash. It allows the flash some time to recycle and recharge the flash in between shots. We are not going to use flash for this particular situation, so this is not valid. Once all this is done, make sure you turn on focus bracketing and you turn on for the final bracketing. If you have successfully turned everything on, 
Once you exit the menu, you will see that there is a bracketing icon at the top, the white icon. That means that the bracketing is activated. Make sure your focusing point is somewhere in the middle. And once this is already activated, if you are comfortable with everything, then you take the shot. It's just one click of a shutter button. The processing will take some time, obviously, because the camera is merging 15 different shots together. But considering how much work it is taking, it is quite fast. And this is the final image where you can see every single part of the watch face is in focus. I want to talk a bit more about the focus differential and how much it can affect the outcome of your image. Basically, focus differential means how much of the frame you want to be in focus. So we will start again coming in here. I will just show you the extreme from the narrowest one, the setting number one, all the way to the widest 10. As I mentioned, if you choose the narrower setting or anything narrower, only one small part of the image will be in focus. As opposed to the widest, the entire frame will be in focus. So if I set this to narrow number one, again, we make sure this is turned on and then if bracketing is turned on. Now, if I choose the focusing point to the nearest gear here, if I take a photograph, you'll see the camera will only do the focus bracketing or the stacking with the multiple images at the focusing points very near to where you have focus. It will not have the entire frame to be in focus. Let's look at the image. You can see that pretty much more than half the frame is still blur. All right, so if you want to see everything sharp, if you want to see everything clear, I will go to the extreme, we'll go back to the same settings here. Instead of one, I'll set to 10. I'll show you the difference, the extremes. All right, let's do this now. You can clearly see from the process of the camera taking the 15 images where it varies the focusing positions, it is clear that it works for all the front to the back and now you can see the entire part of the image from left to the right from far to the end everything is sharp and clear There are limitations on using the Olympus focus stacking feature that you must be aware of. Number one, not all cameras and lenses are compatible with the Olympus in-camera focus stacking. Only the top tier Olympus OMB cameras have the focus stacking features and not all lenses can be used with these cameras as well. The macro lenses, 60mm and 30mm and selected pro lenses are compatible with focus stacking. I'll leave the full compatibility list on screen for the cameras and lenses that can be used for focus stacking. And bear in mind that this list may change in the future. Number two, focus stacking result of the composite image that you get from this process is JPEG only. You can still keep the individual raw images before the stacking, but after the camera has stacked the images, the final result is a JPEG image. So it's very important for you to get everything right in camera all your settings, your white balance, your ISO, everything. You gotta get it right before you click the shutter button because there's very little room for you to do correction afterwards in post-processing. Number three, there is a minor crop after the final image is being stacked. So the typical image is taken individually and after all these many images are composited and merged into one, Olympus claims that there's about 7% reduction in the image. Newer Olympus cameras has a frame around the image that you are taking so that this will be a guide for you not to accidentally crop off some parts of the subject that you are shooting. But typically, the best practice is to shoot a little bit wider and crop in if necessary. 
And finally, number four, flash sync speed. If you intend to use flash for your focus stacking method, especially if you're doing product photography, do bear in mind that focus stacking utilizes electronic shutter. For newer Olympus cameras, such as EM1X, EM1 Mark III, EM1 Mark II, the flash sync limit is about 1 over 60th of a second. But if you're using an older camera, such as EM5 Mark II and EM1 original, the silent shutter that is being used, or the electronic shutter, has a flash sync limit of about 1 over 20th of a second. This will impose a lot of limitations if you do want to use flash for focus stacking. That's all I have to share about the Olympus in-camera focus stacking. If you have any other tips or if you want to share your experience using this very useful feature from Olympus, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you have found my sharing useful, please buy me a cup of coffee. I'll put the link in the descriptions below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel and I will definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please do stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.